Hi there folks. Today I got my 94 Winchester. This gun was made in 1904. I had to get a bunch of parts replaced a few years back. Um, quick history, my grandpa owned this and then he ended up giving it to my uncle, his son. Um, then when he moved out of his house into an apartment or something, I don't remember, anyway he moved, he gave it to me and my brother. Uh, my brother didn't want to spend the money to get it going. My uncle said it worked, but some parts must have gotten brittle and broke. I don't know. Uh, anyway, it didn't work. So I spent the money to get it fixed, and my brother just like, yeah, you, it's your gun then. So anyway, that's kind of how I got it. Um, my grandpa bought it used at a hardware store somewhere out west in the probably the 60s. It's, as much as I know about when he got it but I looked up the serial number on the website and it was made in 1904 120 years old this year still shoots so today we're gonna be shooting bullets reloaded in a Lee classic loader um, they only neck size so in this gun they seem to cycle just fine even though it's not even Lee doesn't really recommend it it does work We got six loaded up here. We got a couple cans of green beans out there at about 10 yards. They were expired in uh, at a Denton Bent store we have near here, and a uh, good place to go and find targets. So let's see what we can do. I think I can hit them at this distance. Kind of like that. Make sure that I keep my empties together. I got a previously ventilated propane tank out at about 50 yards. Only brought 10 bullets with me so this will be getting wrapped up awful quick but these Lee loader bullets work really well even in this old gun I'm going to have to end on a miss. It's the only one I missed. But uh, as you can see, accuracy is there. Functionality is there. One of them, trying to close it, we got to about this position. It took a little more force than sometimes. But I've had that happen even with amp factory ammunition. It just gets a little wonky. I mean, it's a old, somewhat wore out gun. I don't shoot it a whole lot. Um, when I'm loading for it, I usually back down the powder quite a bit. Never use Magnum primers, just regular. Some of my more modern guns, the only primers I could find were Magnums. And I back down the powder for them too. I always use light loads. Cheaper that way. But uh, anyway, there's my coolest, oldest gun. And that's how it works using bullets from a Lee Classic Loader. Thanks for watching.